Oh, here we are again. Fantastic. Uh, cold, wet and muggy old day. So I busted out the big old wool shirt. Keep it nice and toasty while I'm out mooching about. A nice little um, nature reserve. I'm out here today. I've done quite a lot of wood in here. I've filmed it here before. But they've, um, <coughs> excuse me, cut down a lot of the uh, uh, the evergreens. They want to get it back to deciduous. We've laid some nice paths out through and stuff. It's very, very pretty indeed, actually. But yes, fantastic. Nice to be out and about. Especially this close to Christmas. Everyone's excited. Good stuff. But today, it's about this. Or correctly, this. Yes, I've gone and done it. I've taken my steel frame off my LK35 and uh, put on a 22mm poly pipe one. It really was very, very easy, and already, you know, I could feel the, the difference in the weight. Plus, I've uh, put a little bench down on the bottom to put a sleeping bag or a roll mat or something like that. So, yeah, really, 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 really pleased. I've got loads of photos which I'll link in up there as I'm doing it, but. Uh, you don't need a lot, just a little bit of confidence. If it doesn't work out, you can always go back to your steel frame. I've seen people make wooden ones, go over to old reusing aluminium ones, which is a very, very good idea. It's another reason I've gone this route as well, really, is people are realising these old old school packs they've got are realising how much they're worth, so the prices are starting to go up. So if you do get hold of an old pack, if you're after the frame, you can count yourself quite lucky to be quite honest. I've had a devil of a time trying to find one. So I've made my own. <coughs> Plus you get the pleasure of, well, the, the, the satisfaction of doing it yourself, which is always nice. So, what are you going to need? You're going to need tape measure, hacksaw or a pipe cutting tool um, I'd like a, you know, a little ruler as well can be quite handy you might want a blow gun to um, bend some of the pipe although there are other methods of doing it you can use the uh, hot sand method I used uh, boiling water and sticking it in a low oven for a couple of minutes it all works you're not doing a lot of bending you're just trying to get some different shapes into your pipe to really make this work. Um, yeah, so take measure, something to bend the pipes with, uh, something to cut the pipes with, a little bit of sandpaper, um, and you can see the finish on this. This is big thanks to oh, I don't I can't remember the guy's name, but his channel is called Greencraft. I think it'll be up there. Um, fantastic channel and he does a lot of uh, instruction as well but he um, put me on uh, covering this with uh, electrical tape brown electrical tape as well which fits really really well you can spray it you can paint it you can sand it down give it a few coats and stuff like that but like he said the tape once it starts getting crappy you can just take it off and put new tape on again. A lot easier than respraying or repainting. Whatever floats your boat, you might want to leave it white. Totally up to you. But this, you, this gives it a really, really nice effect. So, big shout out to Green Craft. Great idea. Great channel. Great guy. Watch his stuff. You won't be disappointed. He's gave me a nice pointer for this. There's lots of other vids out there on how to do this. Um, 
this is what's worked for me uh, I'm not going to put a load of measurements up I basically did it on the fly trial and error measured it up against my LK35 frame took the bag off <coughs> obviously retrain <coughs> excuse me ret retained all the straps that I used before and my kidney belt pouch here's my um, little shelf there so all you're going to need is I got a couple of bits of um, 22mm 21.5mm 22mm pipe uh, one two three four I think it was six 90 degree elbows and six T pieces six or eight I think mean, I picked up eight of each just to be sure but they're dirt cheap the elbows and that are pence cut the quid for the pipe and uh, you're probably going to want some um, PVC cement as well I find works best or you know, other strong adhesives like Gorilla Glue and stuff like that probably work quite well but proper PVC cement cements the PVC <coughs> and build it to your specification you might want a little shelf at the bottom you might not you might want more of these going across the back obviously you're trying to keep weight down so the more you put on I know it's quite light pipe but it does add to the weight so yeah and I don't get to see it there. I put a slight bend in it as well, just to conform to the shape on the back. And you'll see on some of the other pictures as well. <coughs> so take your measurements, <coughs> trim it, play about with it, do a lot of dry fitting, get it to what you want it to be. You can always put, you know, just hang your pack on it and stuff like that. Keep cutting it. I mean, these top bits I think were about six or eight centimetres. I think we're looking at about 30 centimetres or so for the cross braces. The three of them. Two lots of uprights. I think they're about 25 or 30, something like that. Just remember you're bending them and your um, your bottom bits and your bits for your shelves are sort of like 12 to 15 centimeters play around with whatever's you know play around with whatever's best for you make it your own design there's no real right or wrong way unless you make it absolutely tiny or absolutely too big that you just can't use it or can't get your bag on it this plastic pipe cut it slightly too long put it all together and then just start bringing it down that's how I did it to what I want. Um, as I said earlier about uh, getting the bend on these back pieces, these cross braces, you don't want them straight. You do need a bit of a bend in them. Some guys just keep it straight and then either side just put a kink in it I warm these up I think with a bit of boiling water and a little bit in the oven and just over the back of a wooden chair just you know just put some pressure on them until they cool down and use some gloves and it works out quite well I've got some, a nice uniform concave shape doesn't stick into the pack keeps it off my back which allows for that air movement which is always nice <coughs> and I did the same on the side here <coughs> just giving it ever such a slight kink just to bring the top of the pack forward a tiny little bit uh, you know get an off cut get a couple of off cuts of pipe that's what I did first time I did it I didn't try the sand method where people put like a metal tray of sand in an oven heat it right up and then you get your pipe with a bit of plastic on the end in another tray and you get a, a funnel pull the sand in and then you can do what you need to with a pipe tip the sand out obviously wearing gloves wash it you're warming it up everything's going to be hot same with boiling water 
I basically stood the pipe up in a cup, some oven gloves, put the boiling water in and it became quite workable. Let the water out, keep it in the shape you want, then it starts going hard as it cools down. Same in the oven, just turn the oven right down. I literally gave it a minute or two and I kept watching it opening the oven, just trying it until it became pliable enough, yet again with gloves on, bend it in the shape you want, hold it there until it cools down. Always a good job to bend it on something, so you can put, you know, bring it out and get it on there, so you get in the same shapes each time. But it really is easy. Yeah, or a blow gun, you know, like a, a hot air gun, or even a hot hair dryer would probably do it if you're just going for a certain point. So it really is quite easy to bend the pipe. It's not hard at all if you need to get it into some funky shapes. And it turns out quite well. So I'm very, very pleased. So you get your pipe all measured and cut. To where you want it and like I say dry fit everything together all pops together quite nice so you can see how it's all going to go even hang your bag on it stuff like that very carefully put stuff on so many straps and bits if you're careful and you can see that you know you've got it where you need to be make all your adjustments take your time you know I know it's it looks like a cheap plastic thing but the longer you take over it, it doesn't take that long really, it took two or three hours it took me, one afternoon, evening, and it turns out quite nice. And everything fits on here the same way, pretty much almost the way it fitted onto my metal, my steel LK35 frame pack. And it does make a difference, I mean, straight away, you know, with the frame and the bag and everything on it and the steel frame you can feel the weight there but with just this straight away I could feel I'd, you know, I'd dropped a fair bit of weight which is fantastic and you know it's a little bit pliable I've had it out a couple of times dashed it around a little bit I've got a shelf on the bottom now I can get a nice big sleeping bag on there if I want to or a big blanket or something obviously with the uh, versatility of this pack you can do a lot anyway but there you go it's not quite sitting on there but this works really well for me and I'm really really pleased with it and like I said earlier as per Mr. Greencraft's suggestion I've got a couple of rolls of um, brown electrical tape once I put it all together and glued it and left it, made sure it was set and everything, I was happy with it. Put the tape all on it and then put the bag and the straps and everything back on again. Good to go. And I'm really, really pleased. It's turned out really well. So it's not difficult. Go to your nearest local DIY outlet yourself some pipes and elbows and some tea pieces you get over a hacksaw or a pipe cutter PVC cement tape measure good one very very important and uh, off you go just take it slowly do your measurements measure twice cut once as they say and overcut things slightly and then bring it into where you want it and it really is a straightforward frame. Do what you like, you know, how you want to do it. I've got a load of pictures coming up. I'll put up showing you stage by stage how I did it. But uh, I'm really pleased with it. It's given this pack a whole different Aspect. I'll put the kidney belt back on in a minute. But yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. It sits really, really comfortably. It does what I need it to do. And uh, relatively inexpensive. And I've still got the metal frame if everything goes wrong. 
and even if you're looking after you're looking for um, an aluminium frame it's a great stop gap and uh, it's a nice project to do so there you go like I said I'm gonna put some more pictures up showing you a stage by stage breakdown and some text as well of what I did but it really is quite simple if you're thinking about giving it a go give it a go LK35 has always been a good pack anyway but yet again this just shows the magnificent versatility of what you can do with this bag when you make your own frame you won't be disappointed and it's always nice to make it yourself so more pics and text and stuff coming up like I said just to give you a few more pointers Grizzly Andy signing off for now see you again soon